Boy, I mean, this litter just keeps giving. And I think if we just throw them all in there um, together and let people just start picking them um, or ranking them, I guess, um, it'd be fun to see where they all ended up because, um, you know, I think you can make a pretty strong case that, you know, each specific guilt in this litter or male for that instance, um, you know, maybe has the advantage or two. And I don't think there's any question that Dash 9 is without a doubt the sharpest in terms of her look up front. Um, she's the most refined about her look um, ahead of her shoulder. And yet from their back, um, that storyline is, is, is very, very similar to her contemporaries. Um, big arm, hairy legs, short bodied, long hipped and bendy rear legged. Um, she's more immature. Um, in terms of her body and just flesh today compared to some sisters, um, but still has that same aggressive kind of turn to her loin edge with an incredible hip and rear leg. Um, you know, again, out of these deep litters, um, it often doesn't matter which one you end up with as long as you end up with one because uh, more times than not, um, something's going to hit and it's, it's going to hit big. And, um, you know, I, I wish we could say that raising pigs was easy and that every, every litter that was farrowed had or was accompanied with, um, you know, this kind of depth and this kind of quality. But, um, you know, the real answer is that it's just nowhere near um, that ideal or that common. So when you get them, uh, make sure you get one because you're probably going to have a litter mate to something that wants something at, 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 at nothing else. So um, Dash 9 here, really, really sharp fronted. Storyline's the same as her sisters from their back. Very, very good livestock.